Hi and welcome to SCW here on YouTube.com. Thank you for choosing the channel and choosing the video. Please subscribe right now. Leave any comments in the comment section. Please like and share the video as well. It is time for your Raw preview. Night 2 of the WWE Draft 2020 is upon us right now. Uh, I'm going to give you the preview for it. There's also some matches and segments announced for Raw this evening. Of course, the draft has already had Night 1. Of course, that took place on SmackDown. All those movers and shakers should be coming up on your screen right now how the draft looks so far. Uh, uh, of course, as well, there were some movements on Talking Smack this week as well. Uh, of course, if you want to know my opinions on those superstars, I'm not going to list them all for you now. I have done previous videos giving you those and my opinions on those moves. So go and check those videos out after this one if you haven't seen them already. Uh, of course, there are four undrafted superstars so far, and I expect to be a few more after tonight. But um, be interested to see where they're going to fit in after we've seen all the movements on Raw this evening. So, um, well, let's go into the draft, shall we? Because obviously, Ask SCW, my Q&A was yesterday, and I got a late question in from Martin Carrillo, which I want to give a shout out to. Uh, thank you for your question. Um, and he asks, um, do you think there'll be any brand switches on Monday's Raw, and who do you think it will be? Uh, well, I'll give you uh, my take on the WWE draft tonight. So I'll answer that question on here, because I thought, you guys, you, you probably want to know what I think is going to happen on the draft tonight. So, uh, without further what I was saying is, first of all, before the movers, I'll give you my number one draft picks for Raw and SmackDown. Raw, of course, gets three picks to SmackDowns every two. I think Randy Orton will be the number one draft pick for uh, Raw this evening because, of course, he's going for the WWE Championship at Hell in a Cell. Uh, they're going to want to have their WWE Champion on Raw as that match is signed. So I expect Randy Orton will be the number one pick for Raw. I expect Bailey to be the number one pick for SmackDown. She's the SmackDown Women's Champion. They want to have a Women's Champion on that brand. They've already lost their Tag Team Champions. They don't want to lose another championship from their brand. So I expect their titles, their championships, to be the priority on SmackDown before they look to take from other places. But as for the Movers and Shakers, I expect The Fiend to go to Raw. Um, hopefully Alexa Bliss will be joining him to Raw. I also hope Nikki Cross goes over to Raw as well well because um well i mean that storyline's still been playing out we've not got a conclusion from that yet so i kind of want to see how that's going to be jeff hardy would be another one that i would expect to go to raw as well as for smackdown uh, looking at some of their drafts i expect the street profits to go over there um perhaps kevin owens and alistair black were predictions of mine before um, but they've actually got a uh, no dq match this evening so i wonder if that will be the blow for their feud maybe they'll be separating after this we'll have to wait and see what will happen but um for me if one of them goes and not the other i I think Alistair Black needs to move the SmackDown more. I would say perhaps him with Zelina Vega uh, to go over the SmackDown would not be a bad show. I think that Kevin Owens uh, could do with a move the SmackDown, but um, I would say that if he stayed on Raw, wouldn't necessarily be the end of the world. Uh, but as for the draft portion of things, let's look then at what else we've got to look forward to in Raw this evening. Of course, the Monday Night Messiah, Seth Rollins, is going to give his farewell. Uh, I, he's going to be moving to, of course, the SmackDowns from this week. Um, I'm guessing perhaps it will be something involving Rey Mysterio, Dominic, maybe Murphy as well. Hopefully we've got a blow-off match and this is finished at Hell in a Cell because we need these guys to all move on to different storylines. We've seen this one now gone for far too long. Uh, we know we've got a dual-branded um, battle royal as well going to go on and the winner will take on Oscar for the Raw Women's Championship. I'm guessing that will take place as well at Hell in a Cell. I'm hoping Nikki Cross, if she's cleared, will be the person that will win that because uh, Oscar and Nikki Cross had a great feud before and uh, well, Nikki Cross, she's kind of got that sanity, crazy kind of gimmick, would fit the Hell in a Cell pay with you quite well. So I'd quite like to see that play out. Uh, as well as that as well, we know that Ali is going to be given an explanation of how and why he is the leader of Retribution. Um, I'm really looking forward to this because I feel Ali is a great character for this role. I really feel that actually he can bring some credibility, believe it or not, to this. Um, because he's got the need for Retribution, of course. He was robbed of money in the bank last year when Brock Lesnar came out at the last and it wasn't even in the match. Wasn't Ali supposed to be at WrestleMania as well? But his spot got taken by Kofi Mania. Maybe there's something that could lead with Ali and Kofi going forward in the future. We'll have to wait and see. But of course, it will be Retribution and the Hurt Business to begin with. Uh, and as well as that, Ali's been sitting at home for seven months. He's been missing a lot of this year. Uh, of course, he was rumored to be the hacker that never played out. So there's lots of reasons why Ali here actually is fitting for this role of retribution. I'm hoping with an explanation we can tie off some loose ends and maybe some things actually will make sense after this. They probably won't, but 
let's hope that they might. Uh, but that's everything that we know announced for Raw this week anyway, up to now. And of course, like I said, the WWE Draft is going to be concluding as well this evening. I will be giving a video tomorrow on all those movers and shakers from the Raw side of things. So make sure to come back to the channel and check that video out as well. That will give me my conclusion overall with the draft as well. Give my overall feelings with it and what matches and feuds I'm looking forward that will progress hopefully as we go. Because we're not too far away from starting to think about Raw Rumble and WrestleMania. And hopefully uh, the feuds that we start now will hopefully start building towards those big events but that's all for me way thank you for watching um it's been great to have you guys on board as always thank you so much to everyone that's been subscribing as i said there over 600 subscribers now the road to 700 starts here uh, please share it with a friend if you like the video then please hit the thumb up please like it subscribe Hit the bell so you're notified when a video is released each and every time when it does. I look forward to interacting with you in the comments below. Let me know what you want to see happen on Raw this evening. Who do you want to see move in the draft? Let me know your thoughts below. Um, have yourselves a great day. Thank you for watching. This has been SCW.